Hello students, today let's discuss about a very important topic, a examiner's favorite topic, that is Turner syndrome. Very very important MCQ which is keep on repeating, okay, from this topic, it's karyotype, okay. So what is the karyotype seen in a Turner's patient? The karyotype is a 45 x 0, the most common karyotype is 45 x 0. Which means there is loss of one X chromosome. Guys, a female should have two X chromosomes. If there is a loss of one X chromosome, that's going to cause Turner syndrome in a female. Now, why there is only one X chromosome? What just happened to the other X chromosome? Now, the loss of the other X chromosome is due to non disjunction. Okay, due to non disjunction during meiosis. Okay, so during meiosis, there should be a proper separation of the chromosomes. Okay, there should be proper distribution of chromosomes if there is non disjunction so that female is only receiving one x chromosome okay a very important mcq due to non disjunction during meiosis there is only one x chromosome in a female now let's see the clinical features guys remember for a proper female development it takes two x chromosomes to function if there is only one X chromosome, what happens? This female is half of a normal female, you know. So everything is partially developed. Let's see. Now what are the clinical features which are seen in a Turner's female? First is short stature. Okay. Usually females, they are little short when compared to males if they are having two x chromosome then itself they are usually short if they are having only one x chromosome they'll be more short okay so if terminal female will be a short stature with webbed neck okay a very very important clinical feature next this is the cl clinical feature number one now if a female is having only one X chromosome instead of two X chromosomes, the gonads, in this case ovaries, they are not properly developed. For the proper development of the ovaries, it takes two X chromosomes. If there is only one X chromosomes, ovaries are not properly formed. So that there is bilateral streaky ovaries okay bilateral streaky ovaries okay let me write for you again bilateral streaky ovaries are seen okay they are not a well good ovaries okay there is just there is just a small tissue present okay now as the ovaries are not properly developed these ovaries are they making a proper hormones proper estrogens are getting produced no so in a turn of female what happens the estrogen levels so estrogen levels are also low why because like ovaries in the ovaries the granulosa cells produce the estrogens if the ovaries are not properly developed so automatically estrogen levels go down so estrogens are responsible for the development of breast okay secondary sexual character so whenever there is less amount of estrogen what is happening with the breast development the breast is not properly formed so the chest in this female will look like shield shaped chest okay now in this female there is shield shaped chest with widely 
spaced nipples okay don't forget this is one important clinical feature so let's go further so what are the other clinical features which are seen in this females short fourth meta carpals okay short fourth meta carpals are seen severe abnormalities because there is no x chromosome one x chromosome is not there so that there is a possibility that other organ systems will also be affected so cardiovascular system in regarding with the cardiovascular system bicuspid aortic wall okay bicuspid aortic wall can be seen that's the most common but also our examiner favorite mcq in a female with turner syndrome which cardiac abnormalities can be seen this is a examiner's favorite mcq it is a coarctation of aorta okay so coarctation of aorta is associated with turner syndrome edward syndrome patau syndrome or down syndrome it's the turner syndrome okay turner female can have coarctation of aorta okay please don't forget now let's see the renal abnormalities renal abnormalities so what are the renal abnormalities which are seen in a female who is having turner syndrome it's a hearts shoe kidneys okay hearts shoe kidneys can be seen in this female now if you do a laboratory tests in these females as her ovaries are not properly formed the estrogen levels and androgen levels are very very less in this female why because ovaries from the granulosa cells they will produce the estrogens from the thecal cells they will produce the androgens so a female in this female especially in our turner female as she is not properly producing estrogens and androgens so what happened to her secondary sexual characters secondary sexual characters are not develop okay already we have seen the breast development is not proper shield like chest widely spaced nipples we have seen now let's see the hormonal levels in this patient okay hormonal levels guys we know that a turner female the ovaries are not properly developed sticky ovaries are there so that there is no estrogen and no androgens whenever there is no estrogen estrogens usually give negative feedback to fsh but whenever there is no estrogen and no androgens what happens there is a too much production of fsh and lh okay so in these females there is too much or high levels of fsh and lh okay these fsh and level lh levels are very very high now next what about the iq of this female okay is this female is completely all right with her mental abilities okay mentally is she sound or is she having any mental retardation because of the loss of one x chromosome a very very important mcq these females are mentally normal okay so iq of this female is normal okay guys a very very important mcq please don't forget now let's see what is the treatment we will be doing this to do to this turn of female as a part of treatment as these females they do not have estrogens and androgens no 
for this females what we will be doing we will just replacing the hormones so we will give estrogens to this female we know that we should never give estrogens alone why because they will cause endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial cancer so estrogens in combination with progesterone okay so it's not the combination cyclical estrogen followed by progesterone so cyclical okay estrogens and progesterone will be given to this a uh, females now a very very important mcq okay in the exam point of view a very important mcq which you should never forget is turner syndrome is most common cause of primary amenorrhea okay the most common cause of primary amenorrhea in a female is turner syndrome topic is completed thank you